Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am packing to go to Marbella and then Ibiza. So I'm going to Marbella for, well, 1st to the 7th with Millie, Liberty, Kaz, Bo, and then me, five girls. We're all staying in the villa. We're all gonna have the best time. It's Jubilee Bank Holiday, so we're all super, super excited. I, a bit off topic, but I've just slammed my finger with the door, so it was bleeding, so I'm in a lot of pain. But anyway, back to what I was saying. And then on the 7th, we're flying straight from Marbella to Ibiza because myself and Millie have a ego trip, so like a work trip um, on the 10th, 11th and 12th. Um, but obviously because the plan was to go back from Marbella on the 7th. Mum. Sorry, I'm doing the dishwash. <laughs> <laughs> my finger is in so much pain. I'm trying to have a really like so knowledgeable conversation okay. here. And all I can think of is my hand in so much pain. And mum's doing the dishwasher in the background. Right, anyway, because we're doing the trip on the 10th, we thought we may as well fly straight from our bed to Ibiza because we're not doing anything, have a few days. Instead of flying from Spain to London, back from London to Spain, a couple of days later, we may as well just stay in Spain, just from one island to the other. So that's exactly what we're going to do. There's actually so many flights as well from Malaga, which is the closest airport from Marbella, to Ibiza. I think they're just probably like local airlines. So that's just easy. I guess it's like a really quick flight. We haven't actually booked it yet. So I have just bought myself some really cute little sliders. I did think they were gonna be like toweling material, like holiday vibes, but they're actually fluffy. How cute. They're black and they're fluffy and they're coming with me to Marbella and Ibiza, even though my feet are gonna be scorching hot, but that's okay. I've got some other nice sliders. I don't really feel like wearing wedges and stuff this year. I usually wear like wedges to beach clubs and stuff, but I'm sort of like, look at the actual state of this kitchen. I'm sort of feeling like, I don't know whether I wanna wear wedges anymore. I don't know, they're uncomfortable. And also, I also end up taking them off literally like straight after because I either want to like, because you know how like at Ocean Beach, the, the beds are like sometimes in the pool. Like it's really impractical unless you've got like a table or n not by the pool. Do you know what I mean? I feel like I'm just blabbering on. Oh, Polly have kindly gifted me a load of Nina Swim. So I've got this really, really cute swimming costume. Love, love, love. Got this plain black bikini. I think this is the bottoms. Um, love that, obsessed. I feel like it's basic, but it would look really nice. I've got this top, right, this is actually one of my favorites. It's like a top, like a crop top, but it's still a bikini top. Um, which I just think is so nice. And I feel like with that and these, like how incredible. This, right, light pink bikini, uh, light pink. What the hell is wrong with me? That is clearly not light pink. And why am I saying it's light pink? All I'm thinking of is my nail literally hurting. It's like throbbing, quickly off topic. How cute are my new nails? I have to be really gentle because my nail hurts, but how cute. I've got that yellow bikini top. Gives gives me like, I am gear vibes. I'm gear vibes, whatever it's called. Um, bikini pants. So I've got the green top and then I've got the green bottoms to go with a really cute little plait. I think I've got two yellow bikinis. So this is another top, more basic. I've got like your basic triangle, but it comes with the two at the top, so it's like that. And then I've got the matching bottoms. Cute. I got mediums in the bottoms just because, right, so I always, 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 always get small, but I feel like medium will actually fit me better. I feel like I'm so used to getting small from when I was like younger and stuff. 
and I feel like I, I could, I think the small obviously does still fit me, but it's like, I want to be like comfortable and not have like a tight little small bikini bottom. Do you know what I mean? I want like a comfortable bikini bottom. And also if they're too big, it just means it'll be more higher up, like high rise. So that is my, oh mum, you love that bikini. I love it so much, look. Mum loves this bikini. She's so pretty. It is nice. Where's so it from? Pretty. Misguided. So guys, I've packed the Nina Swim bikinis and I'm just going through the PLT ones. I've tried this one on. Absolutely love it. I think that with a white shirt would look really nice and then like my pink Dior sandals or something like that. And then this, wouldn't it, Mum? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah, I love the colour. And it then... Your Dior sandals perfectly. Yeah, so that's a nice nice bikini and then i've got this one as well which is super nice it's got like the beads this is very like what from what i've seen like neo beach club vibes um maybe with like a beigey shirt so this is one of my absolute faves as well it's the toweling material navy blue and it just says plt on it so that's gone straight in my basket how cute is this dress? I mean, this is literally the most rubbish lighting in the whole entire world. But in person, so cute. I feel so bloated because I've just had a load of pizza. It feels such a quality. I feel like I probably wear a bra because my boobs are literally like not vibing without a bra. Yeah, so cute from PLT. Guys, I've decided that this haul is so good if like you don't know what to get and you've got a holiday coming up because i've basically done all the work for you i've literally gone through the whole of the asos website i'm just gonna quickly turn that down hold on i've gone through prt website um obviously i saw it first etc etc i'm going to show you what i've got and what's been packed let's keep this short and sweet finger is still really really sore so i've got these cute white um beach shorts from asos but they're the brand cotton on body so cotton beach shorts love that i've got this neon green mini skirt from Bershka. I think Bershka's literally just smashing it at the moment. I don't know what the hell I'd wear that with, but I just love it. Yeah, I just think it's a vibe. So I'm hoping that I will make use out of it and I'm not just bringing it for the sake of it. I've got this um, top that I got from ASOS, which Top Shop, so Top Shop ASOS thing. I've got this, right, yeah, this is so unlike me, but I absolutely love it. It's like a blue and white two-piece so it's got the shorts as well to match so it's like a shirt and then underneath you can see i've got these shorts just elasticated shorts i'm thinking that with like white tie up heels and like a white bag would look really really cute i've just got some basics as well so i've got a plt just a little crop top ribbed thing and another PLT top, like a high neck one. God knows how that will look on. I actually need to pack a white bralette. bralette. Um, I say bralette and everyone laughs at me. <laughs> a white bralette for underneath because it's like mesh. So you can literally see underneath it. And I don't know what the hell I'm going to wear that with either. I've got this pink low rise skirt from um, PLT because it comes with this like high bodysuit. And I think it's so such a cool outfit i've also got it in black as well so that's the black one here i've got this <laughs> i've got this really nice shirt it's actually my mum's because it's linen it looks so classy on like the fabric is literally just something else so i'm gonna bring this with me um i've also got another beach shirt that i bought to ibiza as well from plt with because it's just beige and I wear a lot of beige I've got this sort of dress from I saw it first which is really really nice that I'm going to wear over a bikini I've got this pink dress from PLT similar vibes I'm going to wear over a bikini so they're like bikini cover-ups 
I feel like I'm going to be living in a bikini, so I need a lot of bikini stuff. This dress is really, really nice. Again, ASOS. Um, but it's actually from Rebellious. I have not shopped at Rebellious in literally so long, but I absolutely love the look of this. I thought it was so classy, like so Marbella, you know? This is a bit... Oh my god, I feel like my nail's gonna fall off. <gasps> Mum, it's passing. My nail's falling off. My nail's falling off. Mm -hmm. What am I gonna do? Should I go to AE? Oh my god. Oh, that's a I would not normally pick up, but I'm thinking classy vibes. It's this high neck dress, long mesh sleeves. Yeah, vibes. Where's that from? That's from Misguided. I've got this uh, dress. I actually had one in, from Whitefoot's Boutique that I wore in the villa, very similar. It's like a bralette thing and then a skirt here. So. I do actually have that, I think it's upstairs, but I've got a new one from Tr Trend Yol by ASOS. This orange dress, which is so cute, mini again from Missy Empire, but all of this stuff has been bought off ASOS, so ASOS is just clearly the place to go. I've got a pair of denim shorts from Bershka, brand new from ASOS, and then obviously I tried this on as you guys have seen. So I'm going to carry on packing, I've also got a few more bikinis here, but it's going very, very well. I just want to quickly thank White Fox Boutique for this lovely, unexpected PR package. How gorgeous are these joggers? I feel like White Fox Boutique always have the best quality things all the time. This is such a nice jogger set. I might even wear this on the plane, I was thinking that. Um, and even like these cycling shorts with this oversized top it's just like such a vibe so this would obviously look amazing with the jo uh, jogger and jumper set because it's like the same colors and then i've got this cycling shorts really cute with this jumper i feel very 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 spoiled and then last but not least i've got this really cute white top with these joggers as well. I oh, know it's not white, it's pink. What is wrong with me and my colours today? But yeah, thank you White Fox Boutique for this huge, nice surprise. Oh, also got a little pair of socks. I had a really nice surprise delivery from SLA The Label. Obviously, this doesn't look very neat, but I've just sort of whacked everything in. I'm gonna neatly pack it in a minute. So they got me, um, this two piece like bikini cover up, which I just think is so cute. I would never like ever normally pick something like this, but I actually just think it is actually really nice. And I've got a green bikini from my Polly over there. I think that would just look so like classy. These bikini shirts are just so lovely. They're like champagne-y crinkled. So I've got that in gray and pink so thank you sla for that and they also got me the black bikini that goes with um the gray shirt and the pink this bikini because i know they've just launched their brand new bikini swimwear collection which goes with the pink shirt so i'm really happy about that it doesn't stop there they've also got me these sequin shirt dresses which are so nice but they got a small and i think it is very very short so guys this is the sla the label shirt i love it but i am obviously just worried that it looks like i'm wearing 
Like, I've forgotten to put on my trousers. I'm not wearing a bra again. I don't know. Obviously, I'm so grateful that they gifted it to me, but I don't know whether I should have got a size up. I absolutely, like, love the vibe. Actually, yeah. No, I think I'm going to pack this and wear it as a dress. Why the flipping hell not? I also forgot that I also got loads of stuff from ASOS One Go for my holidays. So, first thing I'm going to show you is something that is very, very crinkled. It's a bralette sort of rust colour two-piece. Um, this is the skirt. It looked really, really nice in the model, but I feel like I might need to try this on just to make sure it, it looks okay. Um, but it gives me all these sort of colours and like beiges and stuff. They give me proper Marbella vibes. But then for Ibiza, I feel like it's more like bright. Do you know what I mean? I might be completely wrong. I've never been to Marbella, but I've just got this feeling from like pictures, etc. I feel like everyone will be wearing like beiges and... Oh, I don't even know. I might just be completely and utterly wrong. So this is the, well, what you can see, because my camera's decided to completely dim, is the blue, or did I even tell you about this? Yeah, I got this from ASOS as well. This is the blue plunge silk play suit. Such a vibe. I'm so annoyed that my camera's doing this. Oh, there you go. Um, yeah, such a vibe. Love this. I was worried it was too big, but... It's okay. Yeah, can't wait to wear that. And this is an ASOS number as well. I think it's actually really cute. I don't know when I'd wear it. Maybe like on like a chill day. Yeah, it's not beach club and it's not obviously going out. So it's like chilling, I think. And it'd probably be quite good to have like a set like this to pack. And I think this two piece from ASOS is really nice. It can either be like dressed up or down, I think. It's from Fashion Union. Um, so these are the shorts and then this is the top. But yeah, it's quite cute. So guys, I have a lot of things now. It has really, really built up. I have this that I never worn from PLT, still with the tags. It's like a goldy beach dress which is really nice i've got this again from plt that i've never worn god knows if i'll wear it this trip but it's like a dress with this down the side it might look cute with like a pink bikini if i'm by the pool i wore this in ibiza last time but i never got a pick in it i didn't actually wear it actually i tried it on um but it is such a vibe, so it'd be good if I got picking that. This black dress from I Saw It First, which is really, really nice. Um, so I packed that, and then obviously I tried on that, and I decided I really like it, so I packed that as well from SLA Vertical. So guys, it's a little bit later. Sorry about the dirt on the floor. As I've said before, there is literal building work going on in the kitchen. Right, okay, so. I'm going to put all of my shoes and, yeah, shoes in there because I've done that before and try and fit my makeup and toiletries also in here. I don't know whether this is still going to fit. But, yeah, shoes in there. I'm going to bring, like, a variety, like, black, white, beige and pink heels and then, obviously, my sliders. I don't know whether this is still going to fit. Right, let's pray. So guys, it is complete. This is my bag. Mum, what do you think I need apart from my passport, headphones? Where is your passport? There, it's in my bag. Um, passport, headphones. Got that there. Um, so I've spent about, how long do you think I spent packing and sorting everything out? I still need to get rid of all of this. I've returned, so obviously the post office is closed, but I've left everything at the front door for mum to return. So there's about four different parcels that I've had to go through, but I've completely done it. I've tried on stuff so I know everything looks good. I've done all my accessories. I've got heels, I've got pink. I've got pink, white, beige, and black. Have you got your waist diamond with you? Where is that? It was here. 
I used to take that. Right, anyway, so that is, where should I, I feel like the lighting is a bit weird. I'm gonna go over here, hold on. So guys, thank you all for watching. It is literally almost pitch black outside. I look absolutely crazy, but at least I have finished packing. I don't know how exciting this video was, but I thought, you know what, whilst I'm away, you guys can watch Pack With Me. And then I'm sure you guys will see all of the outfits on my Instagram. So make sure you're following that and TikTok, obviously. And yeah, hopefully I have the best time. I will be vlogging it all as well. So keep an eye out for that. And see you guys later. Bye.